But here's this is another good example of uh, most likely. I mean, most likely those three A's are short covering because if you if you shorted this thing up, you know, six fifty seven hundred bucks, it's now at four hundred. You're making a killing. We talked about this last week, and <laughs> really, when we get into situations like this where the trend is down and it's moving the way it's been moving, you look at the market, you look at just this particular stock, you're going to have these pops. And it's really not much different than trading the upside. It's exactly the same because when, when things are bullish, then taking a bearish trade on a super bullish stock should be short term, one to three days typically. Because the trend is the friend. The trend is going to continue most likely until something big enough happens to change it. And now we're in the same boat. We're in a downtrend. And so we're going to have the exact opposite types of movements where we're in a downtrend, and when the downtrend gets extended, it will probably retrace to the upside. When it gets oversold, just like when a stock gets overbought, it usually has a pullback. And now we're just flipping the picture over. I mean, we're clearly in a downtrend. We've broken a massive support level today, unless it somehow rallies back by the end of the day and leaves a big hammer there. So now pretty much every trade, we, we should be looking at the majority of our trades should be bearish trades. And then when it gets super oversold, like Chipotle did here, when you have a period like this that goes from 560 to 400, 160 points, when you have that type of scenario, odds are it's going to bounce. And if you can take advantage of that, why not, right? So we're just looking for, you know, any bullish trade would be a short-term bounce, one to three days typically. Everything else, I mean, start trend trading the downside of this stuff. You know, Amazon was another one we're looking at, and this thing is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's similar. We talked about this possibly doing what CMG did. And it's entirely possible. I think it's less likely with Amazon because it's not as susceptible to issues that CMG is. What was the other? Google was the other one, too, we were looking at. But, I mean, similar picture on both of them. Amazon and Google are very similar. And the volume doesn't accelerate. We get lower volume today. I mean, Amazon, there's a good example of the Amazon. The volume, as of right now, has decelerated. Even though, realistically, we're two and a half hours into the market, we're at about three-quarters of what we had on uh, Tuesday, volume there, which was an up day. So if we don't have significant volume today, if it slows down enough to where it's just the same as yesterday, or maybe a little tiny bit more, then the deceleration, the drop is slowing down. The momentum to the downside is slowing down a little bit. So those are really the clues I'm looking for is when the volume decelerates and the stock seems to be decelerating, then we have a couple of choices. We can either try to catch a bounce or wait for it to bounce and then load up on puts. 